Yes, it's time for another ultimate backpacking gear mail call. I don't always open every single piece of gear uh, that I get uh, sent to the channel or purchase myself in videos like these. I just kind of give enough that you kind of get a flavor of what I'm looking at, as well as pieces of gear that I kind of want to highlight maybe I'm excited about. The reason I don't show you every piece of gear is because not every piece of gear that you see in a mail call video will make it to a review of some kind. The big reason for that is because some of them are not very good is what I find out. And I don't want to waste a video telling you guys, hey, this thing is bad. If you ever have a question about a piece of gear that you see in a mail call video and you're wondering how it performed later, feel free to leave that in a comment or send me an email. My contact information, social media, all that sort of stuff is always in the description. And if you ever want to drop me a note, send me a piece of gear, whatever it is, the PO box is in the description below and I'll try to flash it on the screen here too. It's one of the ways, one of the things you can do with that PO box is send me a self-addressed stand envelope and a dollar and I'll go ahead and send you a sticker back. People always ask, well, why is it a dollar? Some people do free stickers. And the stickers that I'll be sending you are these weather weatherized, la, you know, laminated stickers that you can kind of print, pretty much stick anywhere the last four forever. They won't bleach in the sun and they cost me about 60 cents a piece. Uh, so that's why the dollar, okay? But I did get a sticker request from Georgia and this person didn't leave a name in the front, but I'll go ahead. I've got a couple of these out so far. And so if you've gotten stickers or it's been a while, just go ahead and shoot me an email to figure out what's going on. Sometimes I don't get to it as quickly as I should. So, so there's that. Oh, okay. I opened this one already because I had no idea what it was. But this is just a, I'm trying to test out different versions of sleeping pads. And so they're kind of a diamond dozen, but I want to try this one out. It's called, you know, branded by Unigear. Of course, it's a Chinese company, but I want to compare it to some other sleeping pads that I have for a video idea that I have in mind. So there's that. This one, oh, I think the SBO brothers, well, like my, uh, I, I don't know why I'm using this. Okay, I'll put it down. I think I need a knife. I need a knife. I'll be back. <laughs> now that's a knife. I did forget to mention everything in this video was sent to me uh, by the companies. And so nothing, I didn't purchase anything in this video myself. So just be aware of that. So this one is cool because I remember, I. I want to say that the SB Outdoors has what I'm about to open. Make sure I don't cut myself. Okay. These are Shama. Shama? Sandals. That's a very rubbery smell. Shama sandals. And these are only about three ounces a piece. Now they intrigue me because I, I see that uh, Andy and Kevin Schill wear these around all the time around a camp. And they're, you know, for six ounces, it's not bad. It's not a bad idea. And they, they kind of store away really well. So I was kind of interested in having a look at these and seeing if this is something I would carry on more camping style trips. Because there's been an occasional trip where I have wished that I had um, a camp shoe, but I don't want to bring Crocs. They just take up so much room and mine are heavy. I think one, I want to say my Crocs are like 10 ounces for the pair, maybe a little higher. And so these are the, I believe the Warrior is what I chose. And I got the power straps in here as well. But Shama Sandals. Okay, Viter Energy. There are these energy mints from this company. My idea behind testing these or kind of getting these to try out is, is not for the breath mint aspect, but for the caffeine. I was thinking it'd be kind of nice to 
um, get up at camp, uh, eat something. I usually eat a bar or something, but it'd be nice to kind of have a I don't know, caffeine supplement of some kind. So let's see what this one is. So far, I'm impressed that I'm not ripping off like anything. Oh, so this is, oh yeah, these things are awesome. And these ones I have tried before. These are simply shreds and these things are great for boosting any dehydrated meal is what I call it. But it's pretty much like, it reminds me of the consistency when you get it in a more soupy dehydrated meal like pulled pork. It's like adding a quarter pound of pulled pork. You don't need to cook it. It's not necessarily dehydrated. It's just dried. And I used this stuff in Utah for, I think it was my lasagna mountain house meal. I just added this to it. It's only 70 calories, um, 110 milligrams of sodium. Uh, but you know, fairly ingredients are pork, soy sauce, natural flavor, sugar, black pepper, garlic powder. So actually all things I can recognize and pronounce. And so I was really impressed with this. And so Steve, thanks for sending me two more of these to try out. Um, I just love how these things automatically add a ton of protein. How many grams of protein? Eight grams of protein. So it's 32 grams of protein. Yep. Four servings, eight grams. Yep. 32 grams of protein to a mountain house meal or anything like that. And so I I would check them out. The link to them is in the description below. I've talked about them before, I think in my food prep video. And so I, I highly recommend checking them out. All right, yeah, I know this is a different day and lighting's completely different, but whatever. I just wanna get, get these two things that kind of came in the PO box today out into this ultimate backpacking mail call. Um. Yisin, I think is how you say that. But I wanted to get something to supplement my... Flybox Gadgets SQ1. And this seemed like it really fit the bill. I'm thinking about a longer, I've been thinking about it for a while, a longer extended Western trip um, where I'll need to charge constantly. And so this solar panel, the link is in the description of course. Um, kind of caught my eye. I know it's not a it's not a Goal Zero or you know one of those higher end branded things, but I think if I test this out and this works, um, it might be coming along to kind of supplement my SQ1 solar panel area. So this one is really cool. I believe that this has some waterproof zippers on it too and everything. Yep, carabiner, and you can charge directly into whatever the device is, of course. But I'm planning on using this charge into the battery of the SQ-1 and, and go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. And to show you what shocked me was the awesome, I mean, awesome, calligraphy on there that is crazy so that really caught my eye today and i i thought to myself i i i have to include this so let's see uh who this i'm assuming it's a stick request but it sounds like there's more than just um a dollar in there so we'll have a look see yeah different knife I knew it. I knew it looked too. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. I... <laughs> All right. So uh, I got a tract. I got a gospel tract in the PO box. Whoever it is needs to needs me to know who he is, and I know exactly who he is. Um, but yeah, <laughs> well, I guess no sticker request, <laughs> but, 
but we'll, we'll see what, what else. I, I really still can't believe this, but that one was good. Ha, ha, ha.